Hello everybody, welcome back to our virology series and in previous videos we have covered the structure, shapes and classification. So today we are diving into the critical framework for understanding the viruses, that is the Baltimore classification. And it was named after David Baltimore, who won the Nobel Prize. So David basically introduced this classification system in 1971. And it groups the viruses into the seven classes based on the type of nucleic acid they possesses and how they replicate. This approach helps the scientists a lot in understanding the behavior, pathogenesis, and strategies for interventions. So let's check this classification. So the class 1 viruses have the double-stranded uh, DSDNA genomes, and these viruses endo the host cell nucleus, where their DNA is transcribed into the messenger RNA by the host's machinery. And then this messenger RNA is translated into the viral proteins. The example of the class 1 viruses include herpes viruses, which are cause of the cold sores and genital herpes. And adenoviruses are also responsible for respiratory infections. Secondly, we have the class 2 viruses, which have a single standard DNA. SSDNA genomes and upon entering the host cell, their single-stranded DNA is converted into the double-stranded DNA before transcription and translation. And the prime example for this is the parvovirus, which can cause diseases in animals and humans, including the famous uh, parvovirus that is B19 known, known for causing the fifth disease in children. Next, we have class 3 viruses, uh, which have double-stranded RNA genomes. These viruses carry their own RNA-dependent RNA polymerases that transcribe their RNA into the messenger RNA within the host cell. Basically, the main purpose of this polymerase is to transcribe the RNA into the messenger RNA. And then we have the rotavirus as an example of RNA-dependent RNA viruses, which cause a severe diarrhea in children. Class 4 includes the viruses that have positive single-stranded RNA genomes, and their RNA can function directly as messenger RNA, which is translated by the host cell's ribosomes into the viral proteins. Example includes the coronavirus, that is responsible for diseases like COVID-19. And then we have poliovirus, which can cause poliomyelitis. The fifth class includes the viruses with negative sense single-stranded RNA genomes. And these viruses first transcribe their RNA into the positive sense messenger RNA, using uh, again using the RNA-dependent RNA polymerases that is carried by the viruses on its own. And the example includes the influenza virus, which cause seasonal flu. Uh, and then we have the Ebola virus, which is known for causing severe fever. The sixth class includes the viruses, are, or we can also call them our retroviruses, that have RNA genomes and are, that are reverse transcribed into the DNA by the enzyme reverse transcriptase, which they carry and the resulting DNA integrates into the host cell genome. And these are the most tough viruses, that is HIV, that can cause AIDS and is and it's the most well-known retrovirus. The next we have class 7 viruses that have double-stranded DNA genomes that replicates through an RNA intermediate and this RNA is reverse transcribed back into the DNA by reverse transcriptase and this includes the example of hepatitis B virus which can cause liver infections. So basically a Baltimore classification system groups uh, divided the viruses into the seven classes based on their uh, types of nucleic acid and replication strategies to understand the classification and to help the virologist to predict that how a virus will behave, its mode of infection and potential treatment strategies. And it's a foundational concept that continues to guide research and medical advancement in virology. Thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe.